Hello, good evening everyone. Um, it's been a while since I have done a vlog recording here in the comforts of my own home, but here we are. Um, so it's, uh, it's Wednesday, July 10th, and um, I'm actually losing track of time, largely. <laughs> but I meant to do this Monday, and I'm getting to it now. Uh, I don't have a whole lot in terms of planning news to say, except I have made reservations for the Crystal Palace um, for early Thursday. Actually, they filled up, and I thought, well, I'll just I'll try back two more times, see if anything's opened up, and something opened up. Woohoo! And the other thing is, I went ahead and I ordered um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tickets. This is a lifelong dream. Um, so I guess now I have to go, you know, darn it, there's no way out now. So this should arrive in about two weeks, and um, I will show them off on my next, not my next update, but the next update after they arrive. I'll show them to you guys. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot worth talking about, so I decided I would ask some questions of my friends on Twitter. So only two people gave me uh, things to answer, but that's okay. Uh, that means that I have time to answer both of them. So the first question is from Andrew, uh, at Andrew C. Fran on Twitter, and he asked me, what is my favorite 3D show at Disney World? Which is a good question, because I actually, I have seen all four. I like all four. Um, previously, uh, at Epcot, I did not like Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. I just, I felt like it was old. Um, I, I'm a huge, huge Michael Jackson fan. Captain EO is not my favorite, though. Um, actually, it's now tied for third. Because I liked seeing it again. I like Michael Jackson, but they need to get a new, they need a new movie. They just do, you know. So that one's tied with um, the uh, It's Tough to Be a Bug, which I only saw once. Um, which is a pretty amazing 3D show, it really is, but uh, it's, it's so kind of overly thrilling, I think, that uh, it could be a little traumatic. Not, not for me. I wasn't scared at all. No, no, I really wasn't, but I just, I specifically remember, you know, the, the dozens of crying children in the dark, you know, so I felt bad for them. Um, so those are my two tied for third favorites. Um, my second favorite is Muppets, Muppet Vision 3D. It never gets old. Um, I actually notice new things about it every time I watch it, which is funny because I've, I've listened to the soundtrack on, you know, various streaming radio stations so many times that I've heard it a lot, but I still notice new things. Um, but my absolute total favorite is PhilharMagic. Uh, it's just, Mickey's PhilharMagic is like perfect. It's the perfect use of 3D, it's the perfect use of the um, reinvention of those movies. Um, it's the perfect use of the effects. I love the wind blowing in your face on the carpet scene, the flying scene. Um, it, it's actually made me like, uh, I just can't wait to be king a lot more than I did in the actual movie of Lion King. Um, I love it, and and the aerial scene makes me cry, which uh, the Little Mermaid makes me cry in general. So, but I always get a lump in my throat during that scene in PhilharMagic too. Also, huge, huge thing in its favor. This is what put it over the top: the fact that Donald's actually Clarence Nash, um, and they just compiled a bunch of clips of Clarence Ducky Nash doing Donald for this. It's just that's it. That's win. That's perfect. So that's my answer, and thank you for the question, Andrew. I really like that question. Uh, the second question I had was from Nigel, Nigel Stormtrooper, at Nigel Stormtroop on Twitter. And he wanted to know if it's true that Star Tours is, in fact, actually a spaceport disguised as an attraction. And that's a very good question, so I decided to research it. And I didn't find anything that confirmed that it was. On the other hand, I didn't find anything that explicitly said it was not. So it makes you wonder what they're hiding. 
think more research is needed. If anybody finds any proof either way, I'm sure they'll let me know. Anyway, thanks guys. I will try to be more prompt next week, but you know, <laughs> I don't think it really, really matters. But I am going to do all 18 of these. So this is number seven. Next week I'm going to interview my daughter again. Uh, a couple people gave me some really good questions. Well, actually one person gave me a really good question, and I'm going to save it for that vlog. So, um, that's it. And have a good week. See you guys around. Bye.